All right. Uh, welcome to the Oregon Board of Pharmacy rulemaking hearing. I'm Rachel Melvin, Operations Manager and the Hearings Officer. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024, and it is 9.32 a.m. The rulemaking hearing is now in session and being recorded and retained for record-keeping purposes. Participants, please mute your microphone and silence your other devices. Copies of the proposed rules are located on our website at Oregon.gov slash pharmacy on the rulemaking information page. Per the June 20th, 2024 notice of proposed rulemaking, this hearing meeting is being held virtually via Teams. Individuals who wish to present oral testimony during the hearing have the option of signing up using the form on our website uh, or the option to email their contact information. Uh, to pharmacy.rulemaking at bop.oregon.gov. And alternatively, people had the option of joining the call to simply listen to the hearing. All written comments must be received by 4.30 p.m. today. Please submit your written comments to pharmacy.rulemaking at bop.oregon.gov. Uh, the purpose of this hearing is to provide an opportunity for public comment on proposed rules, the board will not deliberate or engage in discussion on the proposed rules. After the end of public comment period, a rulemaking hearing report will be provided to the board for their consideration at the August 7th and 8th, 2024 board meeting. I will now take roll call. So for the record, when I call your name, please verbally acknowledge here. Board member Shannon Beeman. Here. Uh, board member Rosemary Hemmings. Here. Pharmacy Consultant Jennifer Davis. Here. Executive Director Jamal T. Fox. Uh, you're on mute, but he is here. And Compliance Officer Gary Runyon. Here. And I'm Rachel Melvin, again, Operations Manager. All right, we will begin with proposed amendments related to Division 115 Pharmacist Services Prescribing Protocol Compendium proposed to amend uh, the rule of, and versions of the continuation of therapy protocol. It proposes to adopt the SARS-CoV-2 antiviral protocol and amends the current coronavirus 2019 protocol. Um, that rule is OAR 855-115-0345. No one signed up to provide comment on this rule. Moving on, the next rule that was proposed is Division 135, Continuing Pharmacy Education, Definitions and General Requirements, Veterinary. This proposes to amend OAR 855-135-0001, and OAR 855-135-0010. Again, no one signed up to provide comment on this particular set of rules. All right, next, uh, our last rule set. It's gonna be a, a quick hearing today. The rules proposed Division 139, Remote Dispensing Site Pharmacy, Outlet, General Requirements, Mileage, Please note that due to a system error within the Oregon Secretary of State OARD database, the notice of proposed rulemaking for Division 139 RDSP outlet general requirements, OAR 855-139-0200, was incorrect. The notice of proposed rulemaking provided to interested parties via Gov delivery and posted on the board's website contains strikethroughs on an older version of OAR 855-139-0200, E and F. However, those strikethroughs shown on the notice are inaccurate. The board is only seeking public comment on the proposed repeal of the current rule, OAR 855-139-0200, paren 2. Uh, so no one signed up to write comment on this rule as well. Again, this is a short hearing. So thank you for attending our rulemaking hearing. Friendly reminder that written comments need to be received by 4.30 p.m. today and email your written comments to pharmacy.rulemaking at bop.oregon.gov. It is now 9.37 a.m. and this hearing is now adjourned.
Thanks, everyone. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. 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 Okay.